Trujillo 1520 City of the Kings. The woman who introduced wheat to America. She demonstrated that non-native crops can adapt to new territories. She got basic support for the people who lived there. The life of the settlers would not have been possible without the development of these crops. Maria Escobar was one of the great pioneering women in the conquest of America who have been unjustly forgotten by history. Women who, through the efforts of Isabel La Catalizza, achieved a radical change in the mentality of the time. Like Maria Toledo who became the first Viceroy of the Indies, or Francisca Ponce de Leon, the so-called Lady of Naus, who had a small trading fleet with the Indies, or like Maria de Estrada, a woman who armed with a sword fought valiantly at Cortés' side. Like Francisca Enriquez, who discovered the remedy to combat malaria or Isabel Rodríguez and Beatriz Palacios, pioneers in military medicine, founders of hospitals in New Spain. Or Catalina de Arazo, the famous Monia Alferez, or Beatriz Bermúdez de Castro, a fighter in the conquest of Tenochtitlan who harangued the Spanish when they were ready to surrender, or Ana de Borja, the first ruler of Peru, or Inés Suárez, the first Spanish woman. To arrive in Chile or as Saint Rosa de Lima, the first woman elevated to the altars in America. Hundreds of women forgotten by history but without them the conquest of America would have been very different. Maria Escobar arrived in America accompanied by her first husband, Captain Martín de Estete, founder of the American city of Trujillo. She was widowed and remarried Francisco Harvez, who was later murdered by the Almagritas. According to the chronicles, Maria was the one who introduced the cultivation of wheat and barley in Peru. She distributed 20 to 40 grains among the farmers in the valleys of Lima. Thus, with the first harvests, she distributed seeds in other nearby valleys until this crop spread throughout America. For three years she prohibited its consumption until the grass spread. The exploits of this handful of women were not sung by history, but with their extreme courage they made American society more just and prosperous.